and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Preeksha Garg. Here's what I bring to you today from the world of medicine. Clinical trial proves that ketogenic diet is effective at controlling polycystic kidney disease. The ketogenic diet proved to be effective at controlling polycystic kidney disease in the first randomized controlled clinical trial of ketogenic metabolic therapy for polycystic kidney disease. The researchers' studies published in Journey Cell Report Medicine. This prevailing belief was what Weems Lab and colleagues from various research institutions in Germany set out to challenge with their trial. 66 PKD patients were recruited by the Germany research team headed by research physician Dr. Roman Muller of the University of Cologne and randomly split into three groups. A controlling group that received routine PKD counseling another group that underwent a three-day water fast every month and third group that observed a low-carbohydrate, high-fat ketogenic diet. The patients were followed closely with blood draws and MRI scans. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Nearly 40% of type 2 diabetes patients stop taking their second-line medication. Most patients with type 2 diabetes will end up needing to add a second-line medication after metformin, the go-to uh, primary drug for glucose management, to control their blood sugar levels. But adherence to the second-line drug can be a hit or miss, reports a new Northwestern Medicine study. When patients discontinue their medication, switch to a different drug or intensify their treatment, either via an increased dose, adding a third medication or starting insulin, it wastes the doctor's and patient's time, causes the health system unnecessary expenses and in case of discontinuation, can result in a patient not fully treating their type 2 diabetes. The study was published December 12 in the American Journal of Managed Care. Cannabis exposure linked to 1.5 times higher risk of unhealthy pregnancy outcomes. In a large study of more than 9,000 pregnant people across the US, researchers at University of Utah Health have found that cannabis exposure during pregnancy is associated with composite measure of unhealthy pregnancy outcomes, especially low birth weight, and that higher exposure is associated with higher risk. Compared to most prior studies, this study was larger and measured cannabis exposure more accurately, which allowed researchers to distinguish the effect of cannabis itself from those caused by other correlated health conditions. The research published online on December 12, JAMA. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.